through the eyes of me. I used to judge people based on their cover. Or if that's too vague of a metaphor, just think of it as I used to judge people based on what the eye could see, rather than whom they are as a person. Once I got past that, I found myself judging a person based off of first impressions. Because first impressions are important, right? Maybe in a job interview or in a professional setting. But you're never going to get to know a whole person's persona within one coffee outing. There's so much to people that can't just be said within the times you say hello and the times you say, nice talking to ya, see you later. Maybe you didn't like their opinions, which is all right. You are entitled to your own opinions as much as they are to theirs. Of course, as long as they aren't forced verbally or physically and aren't stated as factual. But as I was choosing the background color for my podcast's cover, I found myself not being able to find the right color, and I soon figured out why. My eyes saw the color choices and didn't see anything that went well with my initial ideal look for the cover. The color that would have looked great doesn't exist to the naked eye. It exists within you. I wanted this cover to be able to allow you to feel something, anything. But you can't plainly see a color and feel the emotions intended. The color is alive. It is alive because it's you. And the one I was looking for would have been alive because it's me. I ended up going with maroon, but that may change. Who knows? How does a person make you feel? After that one outing, were you uncomfortable? Scared? Getting any vibes that they may be a murderer? If your answer is no, then I suggest you give them another chance. If you don't take that chance, you will never know how significant that person could be in your life. In your life for who knows how long. I'm mostly just trying to say it could be worth it. So, don't judge a book by its cover. Again, this is just my opinion, simply through the eyes of me. And I'll see you all later.